Good morning, children. Today we are going to see Standard Eight, Day Five, Atomic Structure topic. Okay. First, what is an element? Elements are chemically simple substance which cannot be broken down through any chemical process. So, the element is made up of a single type of atom. The atom has three different types of subatomic particles. What are the three different types of subatomic particles? The first one is proton, neutron, and electron. Now we are going to see what is a proton. A proton is a subatomic particle with a positive charge, and its elementary charge is plus one, and it is represented by the small letter p. Next, we are going to see what is a neutron. The neutron is also a subatomic particle with a neutral charge, and what is an electron? Electron is nothing but a subatomic particle with a negative charge. This electron is neither free or bound to the nucleus; it rotates in a spherical path in the subshell. The positive charge of the proton and the negative charge of the electron hold the atom together in a particular position. So today we are going to see what is atomic number and what is mass number. Atomic number is nothing but the number of protons or neutrons present in a atom. If you take the structure of an atom, the atom will have proton and neutron in the center in the nucleus, and it has the electron which will be revolving around. In a spherical path, and these structures are of four different types: S yes, level, P, D, and F. This S yes subshell can accommodate two electrons, whereas P can accommodate six electrons, and D can accommodate ten electrons, and F can accommodate fourteen electrons. So, this uh, we we are going to study what is atomic number. Atomic number is nothing but the number of protons which is present in the nucleus. Or the number of electrons which is revolving around the in the electrical orbit, and here the number of uh, protons or the number of electrons is similar. Both will be same. Next, when you see the number of neutrons will vary. What is mass number? Mass number is nothing but the number of protons plus the number of neutrons which is present in an atom. Here, the number of protons and the number of neutrons is present in the nucleus. With these, we will draw the atomic structure of minimum of first five elements of the periodic table. First, when you take hydrogen, hydrogen is the only element which has one proton and zero neutron. Since it has one proton, it will have one electron. So, when you draw the atomic structure, the nucleus will have one proton on. And one electron will be revolving around in a spherical orbit. Here, the atomic number of hydrogen is one because it has only one proton or one electron, and its mass number is number of proton plus neutron, so one plus zero, and hence it is one. Next, when you take lithium, I mean helium, helium has two protons and two neutrons, which is in the nucleus, and it has Two electrons which is revolving in the spherical orbit. So the atomic number of helium is two because it has only two protons or two electrons, and the mass number is proton plus neutron, which is two plus two, so it is four. So the mass number is four. Next, when you take lithium, it has three protons and four neutrons. So the atomic number is three, and the mass number is three plus four. So it is seven. When you take beryllium, it has four protons and five neutrons. So the atomic number is um, three. I mean, atomic number is four, and the mass number is four plus five. So it is. Seven. So similarly, we can draw the atomic structure of the various elements of the periodic table. Next, when you come, uh, there are a few differences. We will take it as a game where we are going to give three cards to three groups of children. In the first group card, what is there is carbon six, which the atomic number is six and mass number is eleven, and carbon six where the atomic number is six and mass number is twelve. Here, both these 
elements has the same atomic number 6 but the mass number is different where it is 11 and 12. So the atoms with the same atomic number but different mass numbers are called as isotopes. Okay, so this is a good example. Next when you come to another example I give you potassium with atomic number 19 mass number 40. Next chlorine with atomic number 17 and mass number 40. Here when you see both these will have different atomic numbers as 17 and 19 but the mass numbers will be similar that is both will have 40. So the atoms which has the same mass number but different atomic numbers are called as isobars. Okay. Next the third group is having a car which has two atoms. One is boron which is 5 atomic number and mass number is 11. And next is carbon which has an atomic number 6 and mass number 12. And hence this is called as here both the atomic numbers and the mass numbers are different. It is 5 and 6 and 11 and 12. So in this case where it has both different atom mass numbers and different atomic numbers but the number of neutrons in both the cases is similar it is called as isotopes so we have we have studied three different categories that is isotopes isobars and isotopes and the important part is what is atomic number and what is mass number today's class activity or home activity can be taken as you can draw atomic structures for the rest of the elements in the periodic table rest few for example, you can take uh, boron, you can draw atomic structure for nitrogen, fluorine, etc. Even you can identify the symbols of proton, electron and neutron. Proton is represented by small letter P and it has a positive charge. And neutron is represented by small letter N and it is it has a neutral charge. And electron is rep represented by small letter E and it has a negative charge. And you can also give few more examples for isotopes, isobars and isotopes. I think you are very clear with this basic concept. Thank you. We will meet in the next class.